Hey guys, what's up? Charlie here. Um, I thought I'd make a quick video really quick to sort of share the the system that I'm running with, right? The system specs and the hardware that I run on because I get this question a lot, you know, what, what's your PC specs or what, what kind of hardware do you have? So I thought I'd make a really quick video just to kind of give you a tour of what I'm running on because to handle all these mods and to handle graphical things um, and the games I'm going to be playing in the future, hopefully there's some really high graphical demands for them and so this will be a one way to kind of show you off. So um, I have the side panel that's normally on the side of this case, it's just a glass, it's got some glass on it. I got that off right now uh, and I don't have the ideal recording conditions so my dog will probably bark and people will probably talk in the background, I'm sorry about that. Um, so let's start at the top, <coughs> might as well. <coughs> Here's the radiator for my H100i liquid cooler. It looks like I gotta do a little bit of cleaning too. Apologies for that. Any of you PC people out there, which are probably most of you watching this video, um, probably are just shaking your head at the dust that's in there. Or not, maybe not, I don't know. Maybe it's not as bad as I think it is. I'm gonna leave that there for now because it takes two hands to put it on. This is the Fantex Enthu Lux. This is the case. Um, and this is a custom built PC, obviously. There's no reason to give you a tour if it wasn't custom built. Um, I flipped this little uh, switch up here. We've got a couple of USB 3.0 ports, 2.0 ports, of course, some jacks that I never use uh, for microphone as well as headphones. And then they've got two buttons reset and the button that changes the color of the LED lights on the side. Why they decided to put that right next to the LED switch right next to the, uh, the reset button, I don't know, design. <clears throat> this is a DVD burner. I got this at Micro at Micro Center for ridiculously cheap because somebody just decided they didn't want it and the guy is like, hey, you want this? And I'm like, sure, how much? He's like, 30 bucks. And I'm going, okay, fine, I'll buy, I'll buy it for it. So uh, DVD burner or Blu-ray burner drive, sorry, not DVD burner, Blu-ray burner drive <laughs> and writer drive and, and whatever. Uh, for like 30 bucks, pretty good. All right, so this is the the meat and potatoes, if you will, of the computer. We've got uh, two fans that are connected to the radiator, and this is on right now, that's why you see the fans running. Um, so it's actually running over there. You see that stuff, I'm watching a little Philly D. Um, so we've got the motherboard. This is the Asus X99 Deluxe 3.1. So I have three, USB 3.1 compatibility there, which is kind of nice. Um, you, you gave you a quick, I gave you a quick look at the radiator. There's two fans connected to that blowing air in. Um, and that is the H100i uh, liquid cooler, which is cooling my CPU, which is right there. And of course their logo is upside down because that's just how I had to install it. So of course their logo will always be upside down, which is not a big deal, I guess. Uh, the CPU underneath the cooler is the i7-5930K. It's a six core processor and it's overclocked to 4.2 gigahertz. Um, and it, it, I have never seen it get above 62 degrees. So this cooler is amazing. Uh, it's doing its job wonderfully. Um, and that's with Ida64 stressing it for like eight hours. It gets to about 70 degrees if I do that, but that's it. Um, of course, we got a fan here that's blowing air out. I've got another couple of fans underneath. There's a couple under, there's one under here, which is right by the power supply unit which is underneath this little case so you can't see it, as well as like a ton of wiring underneath here, so you can't see it. Um, this is just a 1000 watt, 80 plus platinum certified, or eight, yeah, 80 plus platinum um, power supply, or power, yeah, it's my power supply. Um, there's also another fan in the front here. Now these white fans came with the Fantec case. So the one in the front here and this one in the back came with the Fantex case. There was also another one at the top that came with it, but I took that out and replaced it with the radiators instead, and that seems to work pretty well. Okay, so uh, I've taken you through, uh, okay, so let's talk about the RAM. These are, and I might mess this up, so I wanna say these are the G-Skills Series 5 uh, DDR4 RAM. Each stick, there's four sticks. Um, you kind of see there's four sticks there. One, there we go, one, two, and then on the other side, three, four. Each of those are eight gigabytes for a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM. Then we have the, the beast. <laughs> this is a $700 graphics card. And actually, if you wanna buy it online right now, it costs more than that. I don't know if they just didn't make a whole bunch of them or what, I don't know, but this is the Asus GTX 980 Ti Matrix Platinum graphics card. 
and uh, I really wish this would change colors, but it doesn't. It just it, it it does change colors, but I can't control it. It will it will be green when it's not under load, which I'm not running anything right now, so it's not. Um, but when it's uh, when it gets under load, it kind of changes to like up, all the way up through the spectrum to orange, and then finally red when it's really under load. Uh, but this is a six gigabytes of VRAM, which is really great. And it is also uh, being ran regularly when I'm gaming, if I'm gaming something that's intensive, not KSP or Prison Architect, but if I'm gaming something intensive, um, I have uh, settings that will have it be running at exactly 15.01 uh, as its clock speed. So um, it's exactly 15.01 instead of, uh, it's, it's, I can overclock the graphics card too is what I'm saying. Uh, which is pretty cool, I think. It works really well. It performs very well. I think in the future, if I can afford to, and I'm starting to play better games in the future, uh, I may go SLI with it. I might get another one. But honestly, I just don't need it right now. I just, I just don't think I need to yet. And with the 1080s and stuff being out now, if I'm going to do that, I might as well like you know upgrade the system. If I can afford to do that, I can afford to upgrade the system. Now, we have this little expansion card here. This is, and I'm sorry about the shakiness, um, this is a Thunderbolt expansion card. Uh, so if we look in the back, you can see that we have some Thunderbolt connectivity here, which I'm not using right now, but I use it with a Thunderbolt RAID that I do for my video productions. So when I need to use it, I'll connect it there. And then that drive will just kind of sit here next to the computer while I need it. I don't need it right now, so it's not there. So, so this is my, um, yeah, my display ports all plug into the graphics card directly. I've also got a whole bunch of different audio jacks and USB ports and a whole bunch of different cables. Uh, this little thing hanging here is actually a uh, sort of a switcher, if you will. It, it converts the standard analog uh, headphone um, to USB. And the reason I do that is because normally when I'm playing, I have these speakers running. Okay, and the sub and the bottom, I have these speakers running and everything. Normally I have that, but there are situations, and a lot of situations, where I want to switch to be using these bad boys. And it's really, really easy for me to just switch the audio source in, in Windows 10 to be output to the USB port here than it is to like unplug this and plug the other one in all the time. So um, those are the speakers, and then I can also have the USB port uh, be the audio as well, which is really helpful. And then I have all my cables, of course, routed all the way behind the desk, so you can't see any of them. Um, and then they all kind of come out behind the monitors and then they all kind of come out and do what they want. So speaking of monitors, and I have my flashlight on my phone on, so sorry about any glare. I'm actually going to close. Uh, I'll finish watching that later, Philly. Sorry. So I've got two monitors here. Uh, there's an Asus monitor here and an Acer monitor here. And uh, they're both 4K. They both run at 60 hertz. But this one is my primary gaming monitor. That one is a G-Sync monitor. Um, I don't... Off the top of my head, I don't know. I want to say this is the PB287Q, and I think this one here is uh, the XB280HK. I want to say those are the two names of those things. So if, if I'm wrong, then I'll put the I'll put whatever they are on the on the video here, and that will correct me. But I th I think that's accurate. Uh, so those are the two monitors. That's pretty cool. We've also got a little gaming mouse here. Uh, I don't remember the name of this. Maybe I'll put that on the screen as well. Um, I've had this for quite a long time. Ah, there you go. It's the Logitech G602. There you go. Um, this is awesome, though. There's so many buttons on this. Playing The Witcher with this mouse is fantastic. Having all of I mean, it's Skyrim, too. Having a whole bunch of stuff just hotkeyed to these little buttons is amazing. And I think there's like 13 buttons on this mouse. It's crazy cool. Then we've got the uh, Corsair mechanical keyboard. This is a 10 keyless keyboard. Again, I don't know the, the exact spec name of it, and there's a little bit of dust. I don't know. Um, but there's, you know, it's it's a mechanical keyboard. It's got uh, Cherry MX Red switches underneath it. And again, I'll put the name of it on the screen somewhere. Uh, so you can check that out if you want to as well. And that's kind of it for my, my gaming rig, if you will. Um, I've got two SSDs in this, and I don't have any regular conventional hard drives in this computer yet. All I have are SSDs, and it's about 1.3 terabytes of storage total. Um, so that's what I'm running with right now. You can't quite see the power supply. It's in there. You can kind of, maybe not. No, you can't see it, but it's back there. Oh, here you go. Yeah, you can see it now. HX1000i. There you go. So that's my power supply. Uh, that is 
kind of it for the tour. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Oh, and the last thing is my microphone that I use on a regular basis. I have it hooked up to my wall right there. It's kind of hooked into the wall there, mounted on an arm all the way out here. And then, um, you know, I have this to block my peas. So there are softer peas as well as this blue Yeti microphone is what I talk into most of the time. And then eventually I'm going to have some foam. I've got this foam just kind of hanging out, uh, but it really helps with sort of the, the room echo that happens in this room. Um, it, it helps. It doesn't eliminate it. In the future, I would love to have a dedicated space because this is like the open area of my, of my house. I would like to have a dedicated space eventually where I could have, you know, an actual proper sound studio. And I think if I, Maybe when I get more popular on YouTube, maybe when I get a whole bunch, um, maybe if I get a whole bunch of interest in my channel or something, um, and I can justify the expense to my wife, um, maybe I'll go ahead and invest in that. Um, or maybe I'll start a Patreon or something and you guys can help me, I don't know. But um, for now, yeah, this will have to do for now. It's pretty much nice. Uh, at the top here, I've got my backup solution. This is important to have for everybody. This is a Synology disk station. I'm not saying the Synology is important for everybody, but a backup solution is important for everyone. This is my Synology disk station. It is a DS1815 Plus. I've had it for a couple of years. There's eight bays. I've got two free. I'm not using these two, but these here each have a four terabyte Western Digital Red drive in them, and they're on almost all the time. Um, and that's pretty much it. So if you like my, my setup, if you like my the video uh, give it a like and leave me your comments down below and ask some questions if you want I'll try and answer them the best I can and um, yeah that's pretty much it so have a nice day guys bye